How's it going everyone? Bo here from PZ Hub. Wanted to share with you a special memory of sorts. I realize this isn't a gaming video and I know that this is kind of a gaming channel and we do that, but I like to think of this as kind of like a modern outdoorsman's channel. We like going out and doing outdoorsy stuff. We play games sometimes, but you know, we just kind of go in between. We're a hybrid of sorts. We're a modern day uh, outdoorsman. But anyway, I wanted to share with you this special memory because it is really cool and I'm looking forward to sharing it with you. I have in front of me this amazing Zambezi tiger fish right here. This dude is amazing. You can kind of see the little uh, shine on his uh, scales there. Anyway, pretty cool. Even, even for a reproduction, you can see, I mean, on the back side, he's not much to look at, but on the front side, he's he is pretty cool. And uh, I have the full story I want to share with you. So uh, let's get into it. So basically, my fiance was going to be working at a clinic in Zambia for a couple of months. So, so she was going to be living there and I decided to fly down with her beforehand so that we could kind of go off and explore a few weeks before all that started. So we flew down into Zambia right before New Year's Day. We basically arrived. It was pitch black. People were shooting fireworks off and we happened to find a taxi to get us to the hotel. It was crazy. Anywho, thankfully, everyone was super nice in Zambia. So that was fantastic. Fantastic. We did the whole safari thing. We went out um, to the safari camp. We stayed there, and uh, you know, at nighttime, we could hear hippos. What we can imagine were hippos and elephants just kind of going through the grasses outside of our tent. That was pretty crazy. And then we would go out in the uh, you know the the Land Rovers and the safari and just kind of look around for elephants and all sorts of different animals. Lots of leopards. Um, really cool time in Zambia. But I have to say, the one thing, one of the things I was most looking forward to was going to Livingston and seeing Victoria Falls and then going fishing on the Zambezi for one of these guys and that was really cool. So we use Angle Zambia. We, uh, we, I kind of made all this beforehand. I was emailing them, and so basically it, it ended up being two half days that we were fishing. I wanted to make sure that if one of the days was really bad, at least we had a backup day to uh, try to make something of it. So half day was like 125 per person, and then times two, it ended up being $500. So I mean, honestly, $500 for a once in a lifetime. Hopefully not, but a uh, trip is is pretty awesome. Awesome, especially to go try to catch one of these guys that is fantastic I want to say that our guide's name was Andrew <laughs> I really hope it is um, and for the sake of the video I'm just gonna call him Andrew so if for some reason he ends up watching this and you're not Andrew I feel really bad but we had a great time Andrew <laughs> So our first trip out, I remember getting into this metal boat. Um, my fiance and I obviously both got into the metal boat with Andrew, our guide, and we started going out. This dude had the eyes of a hawk. And I remember him telling us, if we see a crocodile, don't worry. Just keep your hands inside the boat. It'll be just fine. You know, don't dangle them out in the water because I can't promise you'll uh, make it back. They love the taste of Americans. And I thought that was the most hilarious thing in the entire world. Then he said, if we saw him, hippos we were basically just going to go in the opposite direction because there's no reason to mess with hippos why you would even get close to hippos is beyond me and him and everyone else so we just avoided hippos the entire time traveling on the river and not even fishing was really cool we got to see a giant kingfisher which was really cool or goliath kingfisher maybe it was basically taking crabs and just like whacking them on rocks and eating them it was fantastic and then we also got to see like elephants on the zimbabwe side of the river just like you know going into the river and you getting wet and whatnot and then they'd go onto the sand and put sand on their backs that was great that was a great memory and then there's this great part where we go to this kind of like sandy shoal and we we kind of just wait there and I actually got out and collected some of the sand just as a little uh, memorable memorable item and uh, put it in a little baggie and now I have it in a little glass vial in my house somewhere but basically we sat there and we were sitting in front of this waterfall and I just I said to Andrew I was like Andrew this looks like a fantastic place to go fishing you know the waterfall was probably like 100 yards away from us and he said he was just like tying hooks and whatnot for our bait and whatnot and he goes oh yeah it was a fantastic spot 
for fishing until the hippos moved in. And then I swear to God, right at that time, these hippo heads just come out of the water. It was the most amazingly timed thing in the entire world and that just made it all the more funny. Anyway, fishing for the tiger fish, basically, because it was the wet season, there was a lot of water. We were basically going up the river and then we would slowly kind of drift down the river and Andrew would kind of guide us so that we didn't hit the sides, but we would just cast out to the sides and then reel it in. And then, uh, you know, if there was a tiger fish in the area, it would basically see the uh, the bait just kind of swirling like a wounded fish that hit the rocks or something like that, and it would come up and grab it. And that was really cool. And I remember catching something and I'm like trying to reel it in like crazy and it's strong and uh, I remember that the fish just turned a, a certain direction and I didn't counteract that and it was off just like that. The tiger fish just have such a bony mouth that the hooks just don't go in very far so I mean, that, that really sucked but to be honest I was just happy that we caught anything. I actually have a small video of my fiance catching the tiger fish that uh, we made the reproduction off of. Really cool catching this thing and uh he actually thought that maybe it hit a rock at some point and uh just kind of stopped fighting because it was jumping out of the water and then all of a sudden it just kind of stopped and then we kind of just reeled it in um so he was just thinking maybe it must have hit a rock or sometime something like that and it's funny because i remember in uh, river monsters when jeremy wade caught one of the uh tiger fish he it actually hit a rock too and then he kind of reeled it in from that point on and then it ended up dying if you remember that episode that was a goliath tiger fish and this is just kind of a regular one but still kind of crazy just how rocky that area is but yeah, really cool. We ended up that using that tiger fish for more bait to try to catch more tiger fish, but that ended up being the only tiger fish we caught the entire time. The two half days, we uh, we only caught this one tiger fish. And uh, you know what? Coming back to the States and uh, getting a reproduction model of it, not too shabby, not too shabby. And I have to say, the, the teeth are a little exaggerated they're uh <laughs> they're almost like a vampire or uh they're like canines for like a like a dog or something like that the uh, actual tiger fish teeth were kind of more finely pointed like uh they're actually you know going to be like daggers that kind of go into a fish and really just chop them in half um so that is really cool but i am pretty impressed by the look of this fish i think it, i think it looks pretty cool and it's kind of got the idea of that whole double hinge from the top and bottom jaw there so that is really cool we actually had this reproduction made from uh king sailfish mounts i want to say is the name i tried to ask them to make um little videos or pictures throughout the process of making this that i could show all of you but it, they they said they didn't do that sort of thing and so they just they didn't so whatever I don't, I don't know why I expected anything more from them I just thought it would have been going above and beyond but no I don't have anything to show you other than that I do have some videos of them doing other fish just to show you kind of their whole reproduction model of how they go through that whole process but yeah basically this this is the end the end goal is this uh, reproduction fish here and uh, yeah a tiger fish at that
So anyway, short video, hopefully, I'm hoping this is a short video, I never know until I start editing it and I figure out how long it is, but I hope you enjoy just a little ounce of real life. We do our digital fishing and our digital hunting, but sometimes it's fun to talk about things we do in real life. So I hope you enjoyed this little ounce, and uh, I hope that in my future fishing trips, I have more film to show all of you throughout the, uh, you know, throughout the experience, because I really do enjoy showing and sharing this with all of you, and I hope you enjoyed this video. So, um, yeah. Thank you all for watching. Really appreciate it. And uh, you know what? Go on to the Discord. I'm actually going to put a, uh, a, a real life trophy section where you can show off your uh, trophy fish and your trophy animals, all that sort of deal. Um, put it up on the Discord. Tell tell the story of how you got it all. That'll be fantastic. I love hearing um, the the experience, the story that goes along with uh, catching these monsters and uh, you know um, all your all your hunts and whatnot. So really really cool um appreciate you watching and uh yeah that's gonna do it like and subscribe if you haven't already and as always keep gaming never stop <laughs>